Hello guys, it is Everything Epan here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP Professional 64-bit in VMware. So, this is the 64-bit edition of the professional version of Windows XP. I don't remember quite off the top of my head what service pack this is. I believe it's either 2 or 3. Um, I'd have to double check once I get it fully installed. But this is going to be a super simple and easy tutorial for you guys as long as you follow the steps correctly and um, so I'm gonna try and go through it I mean I go kinda quick in some of my tutorials so I apologize if I ever do that and um, it's just I do so many of these and I get used to doing them I can do them in pretty much no time um, so I'll try and slow myself down a little bit if I can um, but this is really really easy to do if you just follow the steps on the screen um, here so I'm using the player edition of VMware um, if you guys are using Workstation or anything like that, it should be very, very similar. Um, but this is, I'm using the Player Edition. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new virtual machine. There's going to be some links in the description uh, for VMware, WinRAR, and um, Windows XP in there. So uh, once you click Create a new Virtual Machine, you're going to want to browse for your ISO, which uh, can be located in a different location for any of you. Mine is located in here, and I can't seem to, there we go. So here it is, we'll click open. <clears throat> it's gonna automatically detect it as Windows XP Professional X64 edition. And so that means it is able to use um, easy install, which is a thing that does pretty much everything for you. And um, so basically you don't even have to do a thing if easy install comes up here. So click next after selecting your ISO and now it's going to ask you to enter in your product key so you're going to go ahead and do that um, so I'm going to put it on the screen here and uh, it will also be in a text file with the link in the description with the ISO so if you cannot read it on the screen uh, then it will be for there for you in a text file so once this is done you can pause the video here and look at it if you'd like so and then go ahead and type in a name here. I'm just going to type in everything epan. It probably will not even put a name there anyway. You don't have to even put in a password either. Go ahead and click next. And then uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, so just name it that, I guess. You can name it anything you want. Click next. And then you can size down the virtual hard drive to, um, I'm going to just put it at 10 gigs. Store it as a single file. And then click next and then go ahead and click finish and it's going to automatically power on for you when you click finish and if you do not have VMware tools already um, and this window pops up you can go ahead and download and install that it should not take very long uh, just kinda depends and it'll automatically install that and then at the end of the setup it automatically installs VMware for you so <clears throat> it's gonna come up with this blue screen here and you can see that it's already formatting your drive for you and you would not even have to do anything so it's gonna do that real quick for you and then it's going to copy over the files and then go into the second part of the setup so just let it sit and do its thing I'll check back in every so often with restart points and where we're at in the setup and I'll be back with you guys when we hit the first restart point so here we've already made our first restart point here and it's already going into the first part, or second part of the setup. And um, I'm just going to make this full screen for you guys uh, because it's automatically going to change the screen resolution once this is all done. And then I'll show you that it will be in uh, your full screen. So it's going to do the installing devices portion here. And it will not even pop up with any of the windows. It's going to do it all for you. So there's no language windows that pop up or anything like that. It's going to do it all for you and you will not have to do a thing. So you pretty much just get to sit back and watch this run. And um, so, yeah, pretty much just let it do its thing. So it's going to keep going with the setup here. Uh, so just let it do its thing. And I will be back with you guys uh, once we hit our next restart point or if anything else happens during this portion. So here it's going to reboot once more, and it's going to come up to this screen here saying Apply in Computer Settings. And then... After that's done, it should log you in and then start to install VMware tools, but we'll see what it does here. Uh, it might take a little bit the first time to uh, load this up. So 
it pretty much just bypassed all the setup screens that you would have had to click and do and it did it all itself so here we go we'll see if it plays the uh, logon sound here hopefully I think audio should work Oh, maybe it doesn't right away I think that's why they do uh, that's why they install VMware tools um, because audio doesn't work and I think it does start to work after VMware tools is installed so there you go um, we're on the desktop here so it's been successfully installed now we're just waiting the process of installing VMware tools and it should be automatic if you have it um, there you go see the installer starting to pop up already and it's going to do it for you and restart for you and you'll be ready to go after it restarts for the last time so uh, so it may just take a little bit for this installer to come up and there you see it's already installing VMware tools for you and once that's done it will reboot and come back to the desktop and you should have um, your operating system in full screen to whatever you set it with and uh, it should come back with audio as well um, not sure if you can get on the internet or anything with this I've never really ex or, uh, experimented with that but I always can, can try and do that but um, you see it's installing some drivers here and then it's uh, you see it's already in full screen here and audio is already working but it's going to restart for you anyway just to make sure all those are confirmed and still and like installed so this will take just a little bit so I'm going to stay with you guys on this and there you see the boot screen does say Windows XP x64 edition and there you go it installed all your drivers and all that so now you have audio and you have full screen here and it looks really really nice when it's full screen like this so there you go guys that's how to install Windows XP professional 64-bit edition in VMware thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you guys like these videos and like these tutorials make sure to leave a like on the video down below and if you have any ideas for future videos make sure to comment down below and also comment if you have any issues with any installations or anything like that and I can try and help you out to the best of my ability and if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and do so and if you want to see whenever I upload a video or get notified whenever I upload a new video hit the bell button and you'll be notified whenever I upload so once again thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one